Hello, I am Marika Lake and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to share with you the grade one curriculum picks that we have made for 2021. A homeschooling family and we live on the west coast of Australia. I live with my hubby Greg and our four children. I have Will who's in grade seven, Em who's in grade three, Cruz who's in grade one and Jackson who is in kindergarten. We are into our third year homeschooling here in the Lake House Homeschool and so far we are absolutely loving it and I love to share our journey here with you on YouTube. I have lots of homeschool videos, lots of curriculum and books that we've been using. I have family vlogs as well and so don't forget to uh, check the description box down below and I will list all of my video uh, links down there for you and also I will include any links of curriculum that I'm going to show you in today's video down in that box as well. And if you haven't already subscribed, I'd love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Just hit that red subscribe button and hit the bell if you want notifications of when I post. I usually post Mondays and Fridays I do book flip throughs as well. Today I'm going to share with you the curriculum choices that we have made for teaching grade one in 2021. I have Cruz who is just recently turned six years old and is in grade one. Grade one here in Western Australia is for six and seven year olds. So enough of my talking, let's get in and show you the books and the curriculum that we are using. So these are all the things that I use to teach grade one here in the Lake House Homeschool. Um, we have um, a binder for each of our children. This is Cruzies. Um, as you would have seen on other videos, we do gather around homeschool as the spine, as our main curriculum. And then I have a pile of other things that I have added in as well, which I'll show you today. So this is Cruzy's binder and it's just a two ring binder that I bought from Kmart um, and just found this cute little uh, letter C print off um, to pop in the front. So each of my kiddos has a file like this and in this file it has his gather round homeschool units that he's doing plus his Bible curriculum. So let me show you. For Bible, we are using the More Than Words uh, Bible curriculum, which is by Rebecca Spooner, who's also the creator of the curriculum that we use. And so I just purchased a PDF uh, copy download of the uh, curriculum and I print off the pages um, as we need them. So he is using More Than Words Level 1 uh, Bible curriculum uh, for his Bible studies. And the Bible that we also read from is the Jesus Storybook Bible. We really uh, love this Bible and we will do the Bible curriculum during school time. And we read from the Jesus Storybook Bible at bedtime and I read that to him with his little brother. So that's how we uh, work those two in. So that's the Bible that we use. Now, the main curriculum that we use, as I said, in our homeschool is Gather Round Homeschool. And this term, we are doing the space unit study. And he is on the pre-reader notebook. So with the pre-reader, I have given you a flip through of this curriculum and the different notebooks. So if you would like to have a look at that, I will throw a card up the top and pop a link in the description box down below. So you can go and have a closer look at the unit study. But in this file, we just have his worksheets. Uh, so I have a teacher's guide where I read aloud. Um, and while I'm reading aloud, he does a colouring in. And then he uh, usually has one activity that goes along uh, with um, that. So this is what we have done so far. And then also from... Gather Round Homeschool, Cruz is using the Letters and Numbers uh, workbook, which is um, number three. Now, Cruz is still uh, learning his letters and his numbers. He hasn't quite mastered them yet. So instead of pushing him forward into the next book for his age, um, we're just going slow and still working on using uh, so still working on learning letters and numbers at this stage. So he is on book three and then he will complete book four and then we will go into their next program, which is a uh, thing called Ready to Read in the second half of the year. So we're just taking a slow approach with him at the moment. So he still enjoys school. So I've done a flip through of book number one uh, for this curriculum. If you wanted to have a look again, I'll throw a card at the top. 
uh, this is book number three, so it's just further down the line. But basically, uh, he'll do the lessons from the space unit study and then he will do this, um, which includes obviously its letters and numbers and it throws um, fine motor skills. It's got maths in there um, and it's about rainforest animals. So there's uh, activities on um, animals as well. So he is working through book number three. Then we'll do book number four and then we'll go into the ready to read program. A program that we've been using for the last few years that we really love is Reading Eggs. And Cruise uses Reading Eggs and the Math Seeds program. Now you can get a free trial of this if you wanted to. I'll pop the link in the description box down below and you can check it out for yourself. But this is really great because this is something that Cruz can do on his own while I'm working with the other children. So let me give you a quick look at what the reading eggs uh, side of things looks like. This is learning letters, learning and learning all about how to read. So it's a mastery program. Um, he moves through it and he can't move through it if he doesn't get the activity right. And this is the map that he is uh, working on. And it just goes through dot and has dot. fun Complete activities. The dot to dot to make the letter. So it's as simple as that. And then once he has completed uh, that activity, there are a bunch of other little activities that he can go through. I love it because he can do it himself. Sometimes he might need a little bit of help, but it is super fun. And once he has done, say, 15 minutes on reading eggs, he can come back and play games. They've got books to read, games to play, an arcade section. Um, all sorts of fun things so he really um, enjoys doing that he will work through me with uh, work on all his schoolwork with me he will do his bible unit we will do the space unit he'll work on his alphabet and numbers book and then he'll hop on and use reading egg and math seeds and the math seed section is just a, a like the reading egg section. Again, he, he can work on it himself and he's um, just working through the map and the, the games are fun and he can do it on his own and I'm there to help him if he needs it. They're explaining the little activity he's about to do, but you can see on this side here, these are kind of all the activities that he will work through. You can see that they're locked. Uh, once he's completed this activity, then he'll be able to move on to the next. Math Seeds also comes with the arcade. It has games um, and things like that. So you collect um, acorns as you're doing your lessons and then you can go and spend those acorns playing games. Um, so he really does enjoy using that. Also, there is a library section in here that has lots of books as well. So these are books that um, you can, they will read to you. Or you can turn that function off and he can read it himself. When he's eventually reading, he can read those books himself. But uh, it does have the function that the story can be read to him as well. And so he can go onto the bookshelves and find a book that he would like to uh, read. And then there, it can be read to him um, or he can read it himself. And then there's also um, a little quiz um, after you have read the book. Another online program that we use here in our house is also Maths Online and that has activities for pre-primary all the way to grade 12 as you can see here. So at the moment we are just still working through the pre-primary maths um, math work and then we'll move on to year one when he's completed the pre-primary. But we do love Maths Online. He does need uh, help completing this um, but Maths Online is another really great program that we use. Now, these are just some other books that I have thrown into the curriculum as well. We use flashcards. As I said, we are still learning uh, the names and sounds of the alphabet. He's a little bit behind in that area. So we're making school as fun as we can. We use flashcards. We play lots of alphabet games and things like that. So I have just this pack of um, alphabet cards um, that we use. I also have Targeting Handwriting, which is uh, book one. And this um, is very inexpensive. It was only $10 from Big W here in Australia. And it is just a handwriting book. So he does um, handwriting as well. And then uh, we use the History Now series as well. This is last year's book. I haven't ordered this year's book yet for him. And it has a 
Um, so I'll just show you this one. But History Now is really great. They, this is foundation, the one he used last year. And they have one for every grade three to grade six. And this is looking at your uh, uh, Australian history. It's aligned with the Australian curriculum. So this is really uh, great simple activities that I help him to complete. As I said, he's not writing yet. Um, so I will do all of the writing for him. Um, but these these are great uh, Australian history books because they're aligned with the Australian um, curriculum. So we do that. And I've also um, used this book as well, How to Teach Art to Children from Evan Moore. I have a flip through of this book as well. So I'll leave a uh, card up the top and a link in the description box down below. This is a really great book and I use this uh, for Cruz who's in grade one. Also my daughter who is in grade three. Um, basically, it's just going through all of the... Um, mechanics of art I don't use it for my older son because he already did this when he was actually at school um, and so I like to do these with my two children who didn't do that at school so it just goes through um, line form contrast color um, all those kind of um, activities and my children really enjoy using this book so we've added that one in as well so typically how a school day looks for Cruz is he will complete uh, the unit study with us, the space unit study, because we do that as a family. And then um, after he's completed that, we will do the Bible, I'll do the Bible study unit with him. So the unit study on um, the read aloud only takes about 10 minutes and his little activity only takes about five minutes. The Bible study activity only takes about 10 minutes. Then he works another 10 minutes on the numbers uh, the letters and numbers book that was in this file. Then he does 15 minutes of reading eggs, 15 minutes of math, whether that's math seeds or maths online. These other books that I have, he doesn't do all of these every single day. He might do a handwriting one day and then the next day he'll do a short lesson from History Now. And then once a week we will do an art lesson. We work on flashcards every other day and I read to him from his from his Bible every night. So these things are things that have been added in. Uh, he doesn't do all of this in a day. These books, he will just do one a day. So handwriting Monday, history, Tuesday, art, Thursday, um, things like that. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I hope that you found that helpful. If you have any questions at all, just leave a comment in the comments box down below and I will get back to you. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.